Good morning, everybody. Uh, good morning, everybody. Um, as usual, I'm always a few minutes early. So um, welcome to anybody who's here already. As you'll be able to see today, we're gonna to be doing some lovely relaxing face, head and scalp massage. So we'll just be doing some, some lovely relaxing movements. Um, I don't think most, I don't think you'll actually need oil for this. Most of us have naturally um, oily skin, but if you feel like you need a little bit of, um, a little bit of lotion or, or anything, feel free to bring that along. Okay, we're just going to wait some um, 25 past. I'm just going to wait. Um, I'd just like you just to relax to the music and just sit back on your chair, take a nice few deep breaths. Have your feet firm, uh, feet firm, feet placed um, on the floor. Um, and you actually be, need a, a table. If you have one in front of you, it'd be really useful because we can use the table um, to apply pressure to our um, to our face and to areas that we're going to work into so it'd be a great idea if you have uh, something you can put your elbows on if you don't it's not the end of the world okay so just take some nice deep breaths and i'll be back in a second I will just greet if there's any new arrivals. Um, hi, welcome, welcome. Happy Thursday. Hope everyone's feeling good. We're going to be doing, as you can see by my uh, wonderful creation, we're going to be doing some face, uh, face scalp, um, some bit of head massage. Um, if you have, um, generally for our face, we don't really need oil because most of our faces are quite oily. But if you'd like to use some lotion, feel free to. So go and grab some. You've got a couple of minutes. I'm adjusting something just for a second. Okay, we've got a couple of minutes. So, okay, so I'm just going to wait one more minute. Adjusting a couple of things here. If I'm looking confused, I'm just adjusting a few things on my computer. Okay, two seconds, everybody. Oh, 
Okay, <laughs> I'm back. One moment. Okay, hi, welcome everybody. So, as you um, today we're going to be doing a lovely face massage. Okay, um, I'd like to welcome everybody to the Disability Foundation's well wellbeing webinar. Um, as usual, I'll introduce myself. If I haven't met any of you before, my name's Martine, um, and I have been working with TDF for a very long time. Um, so today we're going to be doing some self-care um, massage on our face and um, just to give you a little bit of idea usually self-care really is just about um, reducing our pain um, to engage in some lovely relaxation which we'll be doing at the end um, and also just committing a little bit of time to yourself so perhaps when you're not on this webinar you're able to do it on your own um, and just find a moment for yourselves to enjoy and relax. Okay, so just a, a few things that we always need to just make you aware of is that nobody besides um, you can only see me. I can't see anybody and I can't hear anybody. Um, if you just make sure, I'd always recommend people to turn their phones off during this, uh, during this half an hour session. Um, as you know, we're a charity, so donations are uh, much appreciated if you enjoy our sessions. Um, I think that's... And that's it yeah if you have any comments at the end we always love some feedback um so you can always uh, let tdf know what you think about our webinars good or bad feedback we appreciate all of it it's good okay so everyone everybody just to sit back in their chairs okay just for a moment and let's just take a nice few deep breaths okay have your feet firmly planted on the floor shoulders back just for a moment your chin tucked in so your neck's nice and straight and just close your eyes and let's just all take a nice few deep breaths together okay now i did mention to everybody if you have a tabletop um be helpful because we're going to lean onto it to apply a little bit of pressure when we're doing our face uh, massage so let's let's get going okay so i'd like you to do it's, let's just warm our hands up first of all, okay? Just keep them nice and warm. And then what I just want you to do is just to place them over your ears, okay? Just create a little bit of heat. And then what I'd like you to do, if you see how I've got my fingers just around the ear, okay? Each side. And I just want you to think about sinking your fingers in to the side of your scalp you've got a lovely muscle here called the temporalis okay and it's just kind of just underneath above your ear and it's quite large it's, it kind of covers about that area so just think about letting your fingers slowly sink in and drag them back okay all the way to the back and again just going you can then make we make a few lovely small circles all the way around, just going to the back. Okay, then what I recommend you to do is to get your fingers like this, okay, either side of your ears, just going to rub up and down between our ear so you can see me. I'm sure I put my hair up. <laughs> okay, so that's what we're going to be doing just underneath of my hair. Okay. And then just nice gliding across your face just to warm up the muscles. You can always just very gently let the fingers sink in so you feel a little bit of pressure as you're working up. Then let's come back down gently and then you can maybe sink your fingers in slowly coming up. Okay, so what I recommend is to get your elbows on the table and just get your four fingers into this position. And then again, you're just going to sink your head forward and allow gravity to drop 
your hands back, dragging along your forehead. Okay. So just from the midline, we're going to do everything in threes. Let's do it one more time. Get those fingers. And that's it. Just really think about openings, opening up and spreading out the tissue. Okay. Next, we're going to be doing some zigzags. Okay, so you're just going to place your fingers. You can either use two fingers and then one the opposite side, or depending how big your forehead is, you can just double up and do it like that. Okay, I tend to do it just with one finger. And again, nice and slowly, just really feel it from underneath. It should feel quite relaxing. And then you just work your way back. Okay, just, think, just let those fingers sink under the skin. And then we can do the same on the opposite side. I've got two fingers here now, this side and one finger this side. And again, you're just trying to smooth away all those lines. This is really good for increasing collagen production and reducing fine lines. Not permanently, I'm afraid, <laughs> but just, uh, yeah, for a, short, for a short time, you usually look nice and fresh after these self-face massages. I always look like I'm glowing after. Okay, so now we're gonna go down to the eyebrows. And actually what I'd like to do, first of all, um, we've got an acupressure point here just between, um, the midline, just underneath the beginning of your eyebrow, you're going to feel a depression. I'd just like you to get your thumbs in and under that little depression and just a nice firm, firm a little bit of firm pressure. This is really good for relieving um, headaches if you have and, and sinus problems. Okay, and you're going to take nice three breaths. Really think about those nice deep breaths. Yeah, this is really good also for nasal problems. If you're a bit bunged up, it can help clear it. And now we're just gonna, let's work our way along. Okay, so just underneath the eyebrow, just under the depression, but kind of just sinking gently nice three deep breaths we're just going to go along one more point at the end here okay so as you can see and then again just pushing into that eyebrow you can feel the ridge so you can just uh, you don't want to go in and under it because you'll you'll realize it will hurt you're just kind of really going along the bone Okay, what I'd like you to do now is we're just going to take nice big squeezes working our way along. Okay, really, you can take a nice chunk of your eyebrow here and really give it a good old squeeze. It doesn't hurt. You can apply a lot of pressure here and it feels really good. And we'll go along three times. So let's go back to the midline again and make nice squeezes. One, two, three. Four, let's do five to the end. Five, and let's do that one more time. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Next, we're just going to get, just get your fingers, two fingers like this. And we're just going to do nice small circles working around the eyebrow coming around to the temple and just nice circles you can kind of lift your finger up and then move to the next point so i'm going to come up to the top nice small circles okay this is also really good for helping promote healthy skin and also reduces puffiness. If you have any puffy, puffy eyes for the puffy eye people out there, this can be really good. 
Let's just take nice big circles in one, one move here, okay? We'll get three times, three circles. Okay, I'm just gonna work now the, um, some pressure points here in our cheekbones. So I just want you to feel the bone come from, from, from the, your nostrils, okay? And um, you'll, you'll feel the depression underneath your cheekbone. So again, I just want you to sink under and just push and hold and move along and push up and hold. And again, up the wall of, kind of working your way back to the end. Okay, and we'll do that again. So just find that depression. Okay, cheekbones, everyone's gonna be different areas. Well, not different areas, just depending on the shape of your face. Okay, so sink in, take a nice breath. Okay, lovely. Now, I'd just like you to, we're just gonna find your bottom of your chin and you're just gonna use your fingers like a, perhaps if we go in the prayer position, one of your chin, and then just work your way up again, using a nice deep pressure, and all the way up to your temples. And you can slide back along your hairline, coming back down to the jaw, bringing it round. And let's do that again, a nice, so prayer position. And you're just going to push up, up that jawline, push up through to the temples. And all the way back around. Bring yourself back down again. And one more time, prayer position, bottom of your chin, and push up. And around, just nice and slowly. Okay. So again, let's go back to our forehead. And let's just make some nice relaxing circles all across it. Maybe going back a little bit now into the hairline. Okay. Really moving the skin around. You can feel it moving your scalp. You can feel it moving underneath you. So you really imagine, remember when we were all young and we used to pretend you have a wig on and you do this kind of thing to move around. So that's another nice thing we can do, just to really get everything moving. Okay, up and down, back and forward. Okay, so let's all just get into our, into our head. It's nice, I mean, some people like, you can even scratch it if you like, scratch your hair. Okay, so now I'm just going to do a little bit more around the jaw, and I think let's just go into the neck a little bit, feeling like we should do a little bit of a neck today. Everybody loves that. Okay, so why don't we all just give our little top of our shoulders a squeeze? So this muscle here, yeah, just give it a good old squeeze. And this side, give it another squeeze. Again, it's quite nice just to rest your arm on the table when you're doing this. Okay, and why don't we all just have a nice stretch now, actually, I'm feeling like a stretch is in order. And let's just drop our head to the right. And if you like, you can use your hand just to always increase that stretch. Just nothing like a good old stretch in the morning. Okay, you just hold it, feel it opening up 
that whole area just here. And again, you can bring your head up and again, bring opposite side, left side. And I just really like to um, assist in pulling, pulling down, just give it a lovely stretch. Okay, and then we can do the same, um, bringing your head down, chin towards your chest. You can use your hands, you can interlace them for a deeper stretch and just allow your head to drop, allowing your, your hands to kind of drop and you can feel a lovely pull, really does extend it quite nicely. And then bring your head back up again. And I always like to say to people, if you put your hands on your heart, double palmed, and then as you look up, you can apply a little bit of pressure again, just to open up this whole area. Okay, and then another lovely stretch, which I really enjoy is, um, I just like you to take your head to a 45 degree angle to the left. You drop your chin down towards your um, armpit. Okay, and then again, you can use to assist to get a nicer stretch. You feel it in a slightly different area from when we just did it the opposite way. Okay, you feel a really good stretch coming down your um, uh, levator scapular muscle, which is a, a big muscle down the back of the neck. And hold it. And just keep thinking about breathing. I'm just making sure everything, as always, is in your comfort zone, okay, and within your pain-free range. Again, let's just turn our head 45 degree angle, drop it down, and then assist by pulling, pulling down just to get that nice stretch. Okay, and bring it back to the center. Okay, so I think let's finish off with a little bit more head massage, okay? So now we've kind of had a nice stretch. Just get those fingers moving through that hairline, okay? Just go work in all different sections. You can just slide those fingers up and down, and around and around. You can work, if you get your thumbs, your thumbs like this, you get into the back, around the back of your skull, okay? The occiput along that ridge, just work yourself along the ridge, okay? Because that's where all our, um, got a lot of attachments there from the muscles and often people find that spot really, really uncomfortable and tight. So again, letting the thumbs do the work at this point. Okay, you can also do depending how much hair we've all got, but you can do a little bit. This always feels quite nice when you kind of take a little uh, section and then you just give it a little bit of a pull. Again, you're just stimulating all the, um, all the hair follicles. So it's actually quite good to encourage hair growth. Okay, make a nice circle and pull, or you can just take it up like that through your fingers and just pull as hard as you can. If you don't like it, then just go back to a nice gentle, Gentle, uh, gentle rub circles. Okay. And then you can also finish off with a little, you could do little pitter patters, raindrops. And you could do the same across your face again, just stimulating everything. And then we could just finish again with some lovely gliding. Again, just letting those fingers sink up through the jawline, across into the temple, temple area. You could go back to the temples and just make nice circles. Okay, just. Okay, and actually we could also just do a little bit of squeezing. Along the cheekbones. It's always nice. Everyone's going to look a little bit rosy after this. Just get all the circulation going. Okay, you could come down, squeeze along the jaw, chin, 
into the cheeks. And let's do our final movement by getting your elbows nice and comfortable. And you could either use your four fingers and again, finishing off with that nice opening up of the forehead. And we'll do it three times. Let those fingers sink in slowly and feel those muscles melting underneath. And one more time. Okay, lovely. I hope you enjoyed that. Okay, I'm just going to change my screen again for a second. Okay, and we are now going to have a nice guided visualization. Uh, second. Well, let me. Sorry, everybody. Okay, so, okay, I hope you all enjoy that. Okay, I'm just going to now, um, going to do a nice guided visualization. So again, maybe now you can lie down if you like, just sit comfortably in your chair. Close your eyes and relax, taking nice deep breaths in through your nose and exhaling through your mouth. And now I'd just like you all to relax your body. I'm thinking about any areas of tension that you just want to let go. And finding that area of tension and really trying to think about relaxing it. Okay, allow your arms to go limp, and your legs to go limp. If you're lying down, just let everything flop. Let gravity take it. And let your arms and legs become as loose as possible. Now relax your neck. In your back, thinking about your spine and just relaxing the spine, trying to let it go. Think of all those muscles around the spine, supporting it. And just relax those muscles. And relax those muscles all the way down from your head, down to your neck. Okay. And release and hold the muscles along each vertebrae to the tip of your spine. Breathe deeply into your diaphragm, drawing air fully into your lungs and re release the air with a whooshing sound. Maybe do that one or two more times, really releasing, breathing out with a great whooshing sound. Okay, breathe in again slowly and pause for a moment and breathe out. And draw a deep breath in. And out. And another deep breath in. And out. And become more and more relaxed with each breath. Feel your body giving up all the tension becoming relaxed and calm and peaceful. Feel a wave of relaxation flow down from the soles of your feet to your ankles and your lower legs. 
your hips, into your pelvis, working its way into the abdomen and feel that wave of relaxation through your chest and your back, your hands, your lower arms, your elbows, your upper arms. Breathe in, and breathe out, relaxing your shoulders, your neck, all the way up to the back of your head and all those facial muscles, relaxing your jaw. Perhaps let your mouth open slightly with your tongue set just behind your, your teeth. Okay, and let that mouth drop a little bit so you know your jaw's nice and relaxed and all the way around your head. Allow your entire body to rest heavily on the surface where you're sitting or lying. And now that you're fully relaxed, allow this visualization to begin. Just imagine you're walking towards the beautiful ocean, walking through a beautiful tropical forest. You can hear the waves up ahead and you can smell the ocean spray. The air is moist and warm and you feel a pleasant cool breeze blowing through the trees. You walk along a path and you come closer to the sea. And as you come to the edge of the trees, you see the brilliant aqua color of the ocean ahead. You walk towards the forest and onto a long stretch of white sands. The sand is very soft, powder-like. You just imagine taking off your shoes and walking through the warm white sand towards the water. The beach is wide and long and you can hear the waves crashing to the shore. You can smell the clean salt water and beach and you gaze again towards the water. Water is white, it's bright, it's bright blue and green. You see the waves washing up onto the sand and receding back towards the ocean, washing up and flowing back down. Enjoy the ever repeating rhythm of the waves. Imagine yourself walking towards the water over the fine, warm sand, you're feeling between your toes. You're feeling nice and warm now and relaxed. As you approach the water, you can feel the mist from the ocean on your skin. You walk closer to the waves and you feel the sand becoming wet and firm. A wave washes over the sand towards you and touches your toes just before receding. As you step forward, more waves wash over your feet and you feel the cool water provide relief from the heat. Walk further into the clear, clean water. You can see the white sands under the water and the water is pleasant and it's a relaxing temperature, providing relief from the sun and it's cool, but not cold. You walk further into the water if you wish. You swim if you want to. You enjoy the ocean for a few minutes 
allow the visualization, relaxation to deepen more and more as you become more relaxed, enjoying the ocean. Now you're feeling calm and refreshed. You walk back out of the water and onto the beach. You stroll along the beach at the water's edge, free of worries, no stress, calm, enjoying this holiday. Up ahead is a comfortable lounge chair just for you. You can sit or lie down on the chair or just lie on the sand if you wish. You can relax and enjoy the sun, the breeze and the waves. You feel peaceful and relaxed and you allow all your stresses to melt away. And when you are ready to return from this trip, you do so slowly and you bring yourself back to your usual level of alertness and awareness and keeping with you the feeling of calm and relaxation, feeling ready to return to your day. You can all just slowly open your eyes, maybe wiggle your fingers, come back to you, come back to, come back to, uh, <laughs> come back to me. Okay. All right, guys. I really hope you enjoyed that. And um, like I said, um, donations are always welcome. Um, the centre will be reopening, I believe, in the beginning of November. So some of you might have heard or might have not heard. Um, it's very exciting news. OK, um, so thank you again for joining this webinar. And I hope to see you next week. Um, as always, I always just say, if you can always have to hand with my sessions, um, either a tennis ball and sometimes a towel or some type of um, a towel or even a belt, um, a, a one for your dressing gown, that's quite good. Um, if they're easily accessible, just kind of be aware I might ask you on the day to, to use that. All right, I hope everybody has a lovely week. Please stay safe, uh, look after yourselves, and um, yeah, let's hope this week is a good one for everybody. All right, lots of love. See you all soon. Thanks.